very short time in my life. No, um, <laughs> but it's a very so, interesting story. Though. Yeah, growing up here, I always wanted to join the uh, the U.S. military, mm-hmm. but because I had an eye disability, uh, they wouldn't take me here. Um, that's really the short version of it. Uh, I don't want to bore anybody to death about it. Um, so I was I was devastated. I was uh, that's all I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So taking that away, I, t- I turned to my dad. I'm like, can you help me get into the Greek army? Because they'll take anybody. Uh, <laughs> Note to self. And he, he said, Nick, it's not what you think. And he was right. Uh, mm. But I'm 19 years old, full of piss and vinegar. I'm like, I'm ready to go. So he helped me during doing the journey in the process. Uh, September 6th of 1990, I uh, went to boot camp in Greece. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was right. It wasn't what I thought. I thought because I knew Greek and I could speak Greek that I, I was all that. Yeah, I was uh, brought down to a very low level. <laughs> <laughs> you were humbled real quick. Um, I was, uh, after boot camp, I went to mechanized infantry. Uh, and then Greece, they, depending on where uh, you are written, like I was written in my dad's village, so my paperwork is there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, different sections of Greece, they prioritize to what... Um, branch you're going to go into so that region i was uh, army really so you're, yeah. you're telling me first off for those for those who are watching two against one, yeah. right there <laughs> there there's a specific word that you use there you said village which i always love hearing that yeah just because that that's such a stark contrast to what we're used to here in the states because it's like oh yeah it's the town over there it's like a village all right yeah, so it's small really like yeah under 600 yeah that's that's um, small but you're yeah. so you're saying like that, that depending on where you lived would determine where yeah. which branch of service you Correct. would be enlisted into yep wow and so i was uh saying uh, mechanized infantry um i would have been the coast guard if that was the case for us like, oh my god you rode around in tanks and armor all day i'm like no i was that poor schlep running next to it no uh, with all the heavy crap well, mechanized okay. infantry that sounds awesome where's the yeah. robots i'm like you know like you watch band of brothers and they're setting up machine gun uh and foxhole outposts around the tanks to protect them yeah that's what i did i dug a lot of holes you're just walking around sandbags with like, a shovel <laughs> just <Yeah. laughs> he, he traded his weapon for a what was it a tool yeah <laughs> like, so, but it was one of the best experiences of my life. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Yeah. It taught me a lot about myself and who I am today. Um, uh, it, it was a great experience. I met some really cool people, and also I met some really bad people. Yeah, and, uh, it happens sometimes, but, right? Yeah. You know, you take a young person and you pretty much dissect them and you bring them down to a, a low level, and then you rebuild them to who they are today. That's nice to know that that is a universal. Yeah. Um, uh, method yeah, just for mistake. yeah, <laughs> but it's true though, right? Yeah. Well, they, they break us down to just the bare bones, right? And they build us in the image of what yeah. the service requires. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now they and, can only uh, put us back to the way that we were, we were beforehand. If it wasn't for those experiences, you know, I well, no, man, maybe I'd be boring. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how long how long was your service? Uh, so being out of the country for because all right, let me back up a little bit. Um, Greece has a uh, draft, automatic draft, mm-hmm. but because um, we're broken up into classes, so mine was two oh eight. I could have actually paid for an honorable discharge, but I, that's not what I wanted. Mm-hmm. So I chose to go, and being that I volunteered was unheard of i'm mm-hmm. um, less than one percent that ever does that so so they they could conscript people yes right and then you have the op the option to basically opt out of it like to yeah certain classes you can mm-hmm. like uh like my brothers uh he he wasn't ever going to go back to greece so uh, mm-hmm. we paid for his honorable discharge um uh, it was cheap it was fifteen hundred dollars wow i'm like Personally, I want to go. I told them that I would go for him. I'm not going to gonna lie. I really would like that option here for some of the people that I serve with. Like, you dude, it's $1,500, and you can just leave us the hell alone. That would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, there are there is the deserving to leave. Yeah. Um, but because their um, system is so ass backwards, mm-hmm. I only serve seven months. Wow. So if I wanted to stay longer, I would have to get my honorable discharge, wait six months, re-enlist, and serve uh, every three or four years. And I looked at the uh, recruiter, I'm like, that's totally asinine. 
I'm like, why would you waste that money and time and resources to, so I can go through the same process all over yeah. again? You have me now. Wow. Yeah. So That's odd. Needless to say, so when they found out that I have a cooking background, they mm -hmm. stuck me in the kitchens. <laughs> so I purposely... Never, never let them know you can do something good because you're going to yeah, do it all yeah, the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, stay in the back of the line. Uh, so I uh, purposely failed so they can send me back to infantry <laughs> later on i wish i respect I never, that never did that <laughs> <laughs> it got brutally cold <laughs>